Holly and the rest of your pals have drunk through half my bar already. You found him yet? That's all for another year, folks. Track will be open until 6. Please leave when requested. My hero. You're a natural wheel man, Tom. You seen Polly anywhere, Vin? He said he was gonna go eat to soak up the boots. But I never seen cannolis come that big. <laughs> Mama made that look easy to Tatami. When they start to started racing here 20 years ago, most guys did, did, didn't even make the finish. Ah, magic's in the motor, Ralph. I just showed her where to go. Hey, you seen Polly? Oh, no. He said he was uh, uh, hungry or something. Okay. You enjoy yourself. She sure sure will, Tom. Thanks. Congratulazioni, campione. That win just put my daughter through another year of school, Tom. Hey, anything for the Coletis. Well, enjoy the moment. But the deal with Polly before he embarrasses himself and the family. I will not let the boss's day end sourly. You don't have to worry, Frank. I'll find him. Great race, champ. I've been asked by the LHPD to remind all race goers that the sale and consumption of alcohol is strictly prohibited. An arrest will be made. Thank you. Great race, champ. Hey, last time I saw you drive like that, Tom, I had a gun to your head. You saying there wasn't one today? <laughs> when our side of town is drowning in dough, that means you're safe. Hey, you seen Polly? Guy's soused. Came through walking sideways. Yeah, I heard. This your first time at the track? Last year I heard the motors from my apartment, but that's as close as I've gotten before. Bus starts to try to clear us out before dark. But ignore her. The party won't stop. How'd she drive after the tuna? Tried to go sidelong at the five brick walls, but we made it. You seen Polly any place? Came okay, by five minutes ago, maybe. Looked like it had a smell from the barrel. Sounds about right. Thanks, Lucas.
I'd ask again that people please leave when requested and refrain from imbibing illicit substances. Let's not make it like last year, folks. These things get faster every year. Faster, yes. Entertaining. No. Some years, it feels like it's better. Oh, Christ, you're here. Me. If your friend keeps this up, the other guy's gonna send the cops over. Yeah, I think Polly's big day at the track's over. says moo and the chicken says quack. What does the bird say? I don't know, but the security guy back there says you gotta go home. That's an asshole. You should show some respect. Well, that's true, but I'm saying you gotta go home too before you resurface the pit lane. Well, okay then. I guess. <laughs> Let's go, Jim. <laughs> Real good today, Tommy, with the, the driving. I was right. I was right when I found you. You know what I said? What did you say, Polly? I said this guy can drive, Don Salieri. This is a guy who can drive. And here we are. Here we are. Right here. That's where we are. You put me to shame, Tom. Look at you. Now you're even a some kind of race car driver. We all got our. You're doing real good since you joined the family, but you know you got it easy, right? <laughs> Me and Sam, we keep the real stuff from you. That right, huh? You don't know what it's like. You get the call to see the dawn and your mind's racing. Then some bad shit, Tom. All in this together. I do what the Don asks when he asks. Just like you. You're like me, you can't just shut it down. Blank it out like Sam does. Go home to... <laughs> Where the hell he goes home to? Bali, you're drunk. You're gonna have to clam up for your own sakes. Yeah, you're right. You're right.
Um, I want to go with the lady. Uh, I'm not helping you with that today. Take me to the ladies! Take me to the blue tropics. I don't know. I ought to take you home. Come by and the bridge. Take the bridge or over to the island. Take me to the ladies. Take me to those sweet patooties. I don't know. Taking you home seems more classy. All right, now we're talking. Oh, boy. You should see these dames, Tom. I'll leave it to you to swim at the Barracudas, Bolly. You're gonna have to tell me where the hell I'm driving. Ah, uh, home? Brought me home? Yeah. Maybe... Maybe that's... Yeah. A good idea. Yeah, well... Okay, I'm gonna... Sweet dreams, tough guy. Uh, I'm gonna... Yeah, I... I don't feel so good. That's the call, Tom. You want anything else? Nah, I'm heading home. Hey, Tom, uh, before you go, I ask maybe a small favor, huh? Sure, Luigi, what do you need? Walk my daughter home. Sarah? <laughs> the way I hear it, she doesn't need any kind of escort. <laughs> she's, uh, she's a tough. This is a... Uh, Back of boys near her place. Uh, the punks, you know, cattivi ragazzi. They talk blue, make advances. Sarah, she's gonna speak at the mind. But maybe she says something they don't like. Things get ugly. But if you work in at home, this is reminder of these punks, she's the dawn's a goddaughter. No problem, Luigi. I'd be honest. <laughs> Benny. Sarah, the time is to close. What's this then? Uh, Tom is, uh, Tom's gonna take you. That right. Hey, I just work here. Make sure nobody bother you. Fine. If it'll make you feel better, Pop. Hey. I'll see you tomorrow. Let me get my coat. I'll wait for you outside. You okay? I don't need anyone walking me home. Hey, we were talking about meeting up tonight anyway. You with me or not? Hey, guys. And you can quit worrying about what he's gonna think. Not hmm. the point, Tom. He treats me like a kid sometimes. Hey, I get it. He's protective. He's seen things. We've all seen things. You know, we gotta talk about you stealing food. Hey, I cook it, so I get to say where it goes. Wally well, won't thank you. Well, maybe tomorrow's finally gonna be the day he fixes his own breakfast. Did you knock on the door? Only got so many hands here. Sarah! That for me? Yeah, though it's not as much as last time. It's enough. Nona thinks you're an angel. The Dawn hates seeing food go to waste. And this? This has got to be Tammy. Sarah told us all about you. That right. You're a famous race driver, Tom. Everyone talks about you. Yeah, she's right. They do. Well, anyways, don't let the cold in, Juliet. I'll see you at church. All right. Have a great evening. Night. Buena noche, Tammy. Food. 
It's nice you do that. That? Well, a lot of hungry people on this block. Yeah. Well, it's, um, uh, it's a good night for a walk anyway. Don't get yourself killed on my account, Tom. I try to avoid it. That's all you got? You spend all this time with a lady killer like Sam Trapani, and the best line you got is, good night for a walk anyways? <laughs> well, it is, ain't it? Yeah, I guess so. Flowers for the lady, signore? Nah, we're good. Now I don't get flowers? When you let me take you on a real date and not some walk home for Luigi, then you get the flowers. Eh, uh, that could happen. If Pop's not gonna stop me seeing one of you, I think he knows anyway. Luigi? Nah. These guys have been creeps to me for weeks. But I didn't tell you as I know what you like. I mentioned it to Dad this one time, and all of a sudden he gets you to be my knight in shining armor. So yeah, he knows. Huh. Well, like I say, means there's no problem with me. If he did, you wouldn't last long. I know what happened to all the other guys I dated. I helped hide the bodies. Yeah, so now we are. I've been trying to keep you safe, Tommy Angelo, all this time. Hey, let's go someplace, tomorrow night maybe. The pictures, maybe. You can get your flowers. That'd be good. Oh! Hey there, darling! Are you stepping out on us? Piss off. <laughs> Don't cast the kitten, doll face. We'll let your boyfriend watch. What do you say? We going to have trouble here. Trouble started back when you tried to steal our girl, Chief. You saps aren't careful. You'll end up in wooden overcoats. <laughs> Last chance to walk away. We ain't frails. We know who you work for. Salieri might have been the big six when he was younger, but he's all washed up now. Mm -hmm. It's only a matter of time before Morello punches his ticket. <laughs> I don't need Salieri. Or anyone else. Not for this. <laughs> well, <laughs> then let's see what you got, cake eater. Mm. Where you going here, sweet cheek? Uh, Back off! Uh, right. You're some kind of uh, dish, ain't ya? Uh, Get off uh, me! Twist like you was waiting uh, on that greaser. Uh, Those pins go all the way up. Uh, you uh, 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 can't be like that. Good right hook, I'll give you that. You're bleeding. 
come up to my place. I'll take a look. Well, you gonna come in and take a load off or what? I'm wondering when you'd invite me up. The bank's closed, Slugger. I'm just gonna patch you up is all. Now go sit down on the couch, roll up your sleeve. I'm getting my sewing kit. Doesn't look too bad. You need something for the pain? I know, I'm fine. You don't have to do that. What? I can see it fucking hurts, Tom. You want to pretend it don't go ask Polly to staple you up. What do you get? Compliments of the Dan. Take another. All right. You gonna grin and bear this? Yeah, I'll be okay. Good. Cause I don't need the little old lady next door complaining to the super about all the racket. Just be quick about it, will ya? It's gonna take as long as it takes. The sloppier the stitch, the uglier the scar. They're right. You stitched up a lot of fellas. Just my father. Ma would really go after Luigi sometimes. He got pretty good at ducking dinner plates. So one day she stabbed him with her knitting needle. Right through the hand. What for? Because she was an ugly, jealous drunk. There. Not my best work, but it'll hold. The scar will be something to remember you by, if nothing else. You're staying over. Can't have you stumbling through the neighborhood pie-eyed. Not when them hoods are out looking for you anyways. Yeah, okay. You got an extra blanket or something? No. And the heat's out. Yes, I'll though. This can't stand. Sarah's okay, boss. I took care of it. She started working here before she could see over the bar. I don't have a daughter of my own, Tom. I'd do anything for Luigi's little girl. So would I. We all would. That's right, boss. Anything for Luigi and Sarah. Do those bastards think this is fucking Luna Park or something? I'll rip them apart with my own hands. Our business is protection. But who's gonna pay up when they learn we can't even protect one of our own as she walks home from work? So what do you want us to do? Teach these boys a lesson. Break every bone in their bodies. Put them in wheelchairs. Bust their faces up so bad, even their mothers can't look at them without screaming. We know where they're holed up. My friend on the force says we should start looking into Chinatown. Then Big Biff will know something. Tommy, go to Vinny, get us some gear. Meet me at Biff's place. Yeah, okay. Leave these punks laying in the street. I want everyone to know we do not allow mad dogs to run wild in our neighborhood. You got it, boss. Some of these sons of bitches could still be on our turf. I'll check the neighborhood. Make sure they're gone while you see Biff. Good, hon. Yeah, same. Okay, so when you're done with Vinny, come find me in Chinatown. Sure. Well, Let's I go bust some heads. These punks showing disrespect. Where's the respect in this city gone, Frank? I got guys calling after Sarah in the street. I got payments trying to.
Hey, hey, here for some heaters, Tom. Nah, I'm already going and healed. Paulie and me, we gotta give a beating to some punks who've been on our turf. I don't wanna pull this and piss in our own street. There's something to bust sets. That's all we need. Sam turned over some guy's warehouse and, uh... Autographed by Babe Ruth himself, the guy said. I mean, that's horse shit, but they bust heads. Your punks won't have time for questions. No, they won't. Thanks, Vinny. Dump, I'll never know. Give him a break. He's in love. Ah, uh, he got yellow fever the time we boosted the Shanghai skin flicks. Well, I like her anyways. The problem with you, Tom, you always soft with the dames. You fat bastard. What are you doing? Chut mao, no chin. They tang all day tea. Then they sent us all get in by such a light. Dogface, great to see you. Call her off, Biff. We got business. Upstairs, please. Mo young a fight. So, what's the beef? We need some information. Got some jokers causing trouble. They mess with Luigi's daughter. Plenty of hoods around. You got any more? One of them's a weasel named Billy. Pals with a prissy chump and a bruiser with a bald head. Right, right, I know them. They're set up in the old service station a block over. They hock some gear every now and then, small time. <laughs> That's why I need to come to you, Biff. You're good with small time. Out the back, cross the street. You'll find them there. Thanks. See you around. Hey, Paulie. Uh, about that dough? Relax, just waiting for my guy to come through. It'll be next week. Just sit tight. What was that back there? You and Biff got something going on. Guy I know is bringing in a shipment of suits. Classic ones, Mexican. You getting suits from Mexico? No, idiot. The suits are boosted from a lockup downtown. The tailor is from Mexico. Originally, anyways, he lives in Holbrook. Did Don know about this? Yeah, yeah, he'll get his cut. You just keep this under your hat. I guess I heard nothing. You gonna know these punks when you see them? Yeah. Though, I guess if I don't, all we gotta do is find the other guys in Chinatown who look like we do. There it is. Here's how we do this. I walk in and start beating people. You do the same. No shooters. Take long thinking that one up. Nah, this plane gets used a lot. I think we gotta go in through the side.
only the nicest ass I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yo, yo. Oh, Billy, it's the guy from the other night. We gotta go. Help me over right. here! Get out here! Get up here! Oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. Hey! Get down! Oh, come on, come on. Get us out of here! Shit, we gotta get to a car, Tom! Scram! No 
Oh, careful, Tom. The road's a river. Don't worry, I got this. They ever set eyes on Sarah, huh? They think they're gonna get away, huh? They ain't seen you drive like I have. Son of a bitch just wrecked himself. Well, they're not walking away from that. I want to pop him, Tom. No. No, no, wait. Wait. <laughs> Christ, Tom. You can't feel sorry for these animals. A guy like this would plug you if you give him the chance. You gotta pull the trigger without thinking. Yes, I'm out. This one's finished, too. Christ, Tom. Snap out of it. You remember what those guys wanted to do to Sarah? Yeah. Just, uh... Hey. Let's get out of here before the bulls show up, huh? Simple, straight. Oh. I can't afford this life no more. Just getting lucky. I'll give you a chance to win your money back. You want in, boss? We have business to discuss, Paulie. We're in it now, boys. One of our associates at the coroner's office sent this over. Corpse's name is Giolotti. You recognize him? Sure. That's one of the punks we ran out of the neighborhood. Now we got the bullet in the back of his head? Yeah. We capped him. Well, the cops ought to thank us. We did him a favor. The guy was a rapist, boss. Yeah? Well, he was also a city councilor's son. You want to drive a politician into Morella's arms? There's no better way than killing off his family. Oh, Christ. That gets worse. You left another guy in the wreck? Yeah, but he was dead when we got there. You gonna tell me he was the president's nephew or something? Two in the head, Pauly. If you're gonna do a job, do it right. He made it? Yes. He spent the week in St. Mary's, but he pulled through. 
<sighs> Can he point a finger at either of you? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Look. We're gonna kill two birds with one blast. Galati's funeral's today at St. Michael's. Sam, you're gonna attend. Sit in the back and try to spot the lucky bastard. How will I recognize him? He'll be the one who just crawled away from a car wreck. His arm is broken. Look for a sling. Sam's gonna need a little distraction if he's gonna clean up your mess. Are you sending Tommy to dip his wick? It's a brothel? A gentleman's club, just down the street from St. Michael's. The donors invested a lot of money in it over the years. So me and Sam. Regardless, the owner has suddenly decided to do business with Morello instead of us. You want me to go remind him of his obligations? Yes. Then blow the place up. What? Morello wants to take businesses away from us? He'll inherit craters. Look, Tom, we can't send Paulie and Sam since all the ladies know them already. They'd never make it through the front door. But you can walk right in. Okay. What about the manager? Take care of him wherever you find him. If any of the horse see it, well, it'll be a warning. Once he's out of the way, head to his office on the top floor. Grab any documents and money you find there and place the explosives. Vincenzo will see that you have what you need. And you think the blast will be big enough to give me cover? Yeah, but be smart. Only take a shot if you know you won't get made. Tommy, one more thing. One of the girls is passing Morello information about our operations. Before you blow the place, you'll need to take care of her too. You want Tommy to kill a twist? Come on, Frank. It's just bad luck this falls to Tom. But we gotta protect the family. Her name is Michelle. She's usually working one of the upper rooms. Her photo is in the folder. You boys clear on everything? Yeah. Tom. I got it, boss. Then get it done. Come on, let's go.